April 25th, St. Mark, Evangelist and Martyr. The evangelist St. Mark was from the tribe of Levi. He was baptized by St. Peter and instructed by him in the Christian faith. He followed Peter to Rome and would preach the gospel in this city with him. The faithful asked St. Mark to write the life of our Lord according to the accounts of St. Peter. So Mark wrote the narrative based on what he had heard from Peter. The later, after examining Mark's work, testified that it was perfectly exact and approved it to be read by all the faithful. Later, St. Peter sent Mark to Alexandria where he was the first to preach the word of God. According to Simon, an old Jew who witnessed the labors of Mark in that city, an enormous multitude converted there as a consequence of the apostolate of St. Mark. St. Peter Damien wrote that God gave St. Mark a special grace by which all people he converted in Alexandria took up monastic customs. He inspired them to this by his miracles and the example of his virtues. After his death, his relics were sent back to Italy, so the land where he wrote his gospel had the honor of preserving his body. St. Peter consecrated him bishop of Alexandria. In this city, the zeal of St. Mark attracted the hatred of priests of the false gods. On Easter in the year 68, they seized him while he said mass and tied a rope around his neck. They then dragged him through the city like an animal to slaughter. His body was lacerated by the rough rocky surface and his blood stained the roads. In the prison where they threw him, he was consoled by an angel. Then our Lord deigned to visit him and told him, Peace be with you, O Mark, my disciple and my evangelist. Fear nothing, because I am near you. The next day the pagan priest again placed a rope around his neck and dragged him through the streets. This time his strength gave out, and he died, saying, Into thy hands I commend my spirit. The air became turbulent, and lightning and thunder broke through the sky. His assailants, who planned to burn his body, all fled. Thus Mark's disciples were able to collect and piously bury his remains. It is to St. Mark that we owe many of the slight touches which often give such vivid coloring to the gospel scenes and help us picture to ourselves the very gestures and looks of our blessed Lord. It is he alone who notes in the temptation Jesus was with the beasts, that he slept in the boat on a pillow, and that he embraced the little children. He alone preserves for us the commanding words, Peace, be still, by which the storm was quelled. So too the looking around about with anger, and the sighing deeply, long treasured in the memory of the penitent apostle, who himself, converted by his Savior's looks, are here recorded by his faithful interpreter. Learn from St. Mark to keep the image of the Son of Man ever before your mind, and to ponder every syllable which fell from his lips.